On episode 40 of Let's Talk Jailbreak, Sebastian, Cody, and I had a pretty big debate over Cydia purchases. Uh, they claim that making Cydia purchases is this huge chore that they hate doing every time they have to do it. I claim that Cydia purchases really aren't that bad. So what's the truth? Well, the first thing you need to know is what makes up a Cydia purchase. Purchases on Cydia are actually made up of two parts, authentication and billing. Authentication is done with either Facebook or with Google, which you see right here. I use Google personally because I prefer to use that, uh, but you can use Facebook. These are what all your purchases are tied to. They are tied to your login, your authentication. So I'm going to log in with my Google account here and you see it's already, I've already logged in before. So it remembers my username, but it will ask me for my password. So I'll just go ahead and put that password in. And throughout this entire video, obviously I'm going to censor the sensitive parts of my information so you don't see that. So just keep that in mind. All right, so once you log in and authenticate, then you're presented with this page. You have three options, basically. You have pay now with Amazon and keep information on file, pay now with Amazon, and pay now with PayPal. Here's where the, the problems generally start. People look at the screen, they automatically think, well, I need to make a payment. What am I going to choose? I'm going to choose PayPal because that's just the most popular and just most obvious choice in this list. So let's select PayPal and let me show you the process with PayPal. Let me show you. It's a little cumbersome. So every time you use PayPal, you will need to actually log into your PayPal account every single time. Uh, so not only do you have to authenticate with your authenticator, which is Google, but you'll have to log in with PayPal and then choose pay now. So that's, that's understandable why people would think this is a cumbersome, annoying process to have to do every time, because you literally have to log in with your authenticator, which is either Google or Facebook. And then you have to log in again with PayPal, uh, to make your transaction. So that transaction is completed and you can see there and the payment status will refresh by itself. Um, and you can just go ahead and close that and you can see the app update manager package that I just purchased using PayPal is done. I can now download that and, and install it. So that's the PayPal process. If you want to go through PayPal, you can do that process. It's a little drawn out and you have to log into PayPal every single time you do this. And that is why Sebastian and Cody find this process incredibly annoying and I don't blame them. It is, it is annoying if you have to do that every time. But fortunately, you do not have to do that every time. And that's the argument that I was making on that episode of Let's Talk Jailbreak is that you do, do not have to uh, log in with your payment uh, processor with the, the uh, service that processes the payments every time. You don't have to do that. Another thing that you'll notice is, is that if you don't close out of Cydia after logging into your authenticator, which was Google, you'll see right here that it automatically takes you to the payment page, the payment method page. So you don't actually have to log in with Google again. And you can use the Amazon keep my information on file to make the process even faster. And you notice I just exited that payment portion. I, I tapped it again and no authentication with Google required because I did not close out of Cydia. So that makes it faster in itself. But now, now let me show you something really cool. I'm going to use this top option here to keep my information on file with Amazon. And what does that do? Well, actually it explains what it does once you tap that little button there. So I'm going to just read to you what this little uh, information box at the top of the screen says once you tap that. So you see right here, it says you will only be charged 99 cent now and will not be prompted to enter your information again until tr total charges exceed your limit. So you can choose a limit of 10, 20 or $50. And this is not going to be charged to your account immediately. This is just the amount of purchases you can make until you have to authenticate with Amazon again. So that prevents you or that eliminates the need to have to continuously log in every time you want to make a purchase because basically you're saying, okay, I can make up to $50 worth of city of purchases without having to log into Amazon and verify. And that is a really great thing. So now I'm going to select pay 99 cents now, and it's going to ask me to log in with Amazon. So you just want to log in with your Amazon account and uh, I'll do that now. Obviously I have it all censored out and stuff like that. But the point is, this, this is only required one time for every $50 worth of purchases that I make on Cydia. And that is the really great thing. That's what separates the Amazon uh, login, that top Amazon login option from PayPal. You don't have to continuously log in and verify with Amazon every time you make a Cydia purchase. 
That's what makes this option really great, and that's why I use this option all the time. Once you do log in, it's going to ask you to select a shipping address. Just choose an address that you have on file with Amazon. Doesn't really matter. You're not shipping anything. And then also choose the credit card. If you don't already have one assigned to your account, you can just put your credit card information in. I already have one assigned, so I just select that. And then confirm once you verify. You see it's valid for a whole year, so you can have a whole year before you have to log in again or if you hit that $50, $50 threshold, then you have to log in. So whichever one comes first. So the process is completed. I made that purchase. And now the big, the big news here is that I can go back out, open up another tweak and install that tweak, download it, purchase it without logging into anything. Because notice I haven't closed Cydia either. So I don't have to log in with the authenticator and I don't have to log in with Amazon because I've kept that information on file for up to $50. So let me show you what I mean. Here's Unlocker. <laughs> I'm just kind of running out of breath here. Here's Unlocker. I'm just going to tap purchase product. Notice since I haven't closed Cydia, I don't need to authenticate with Google, first of all. And I also do not need to authenticate with Amazon because I've kept my information on file. Below, you see where it says clear payment information. I can do that if I want to eliminate this in uh, resubmit my Amazon credentials or something like that, but you don't want to do that unless, you know, there's some special reason why you want to. All right. So I've made my purchase with no logins whatsoever with this uh, unlocker tweak. So now you see package officially purchased. Now you can see why I say Cydia isn't that difficult to use to make purchases because it's not. Now, if you do close out of Cydia, you will need to, to re uh, authenticate with your authenticator, which is Google but you only need to authenticate with Google. That's it. You do not need to authenticate with Amazon because we kept the information on file. So you see right here, Cydia store purchase. You need to sign in with Google once, just like at the app store, you need to sign in with the app store. Uh, if you, you're outside of the threshold for the app store, you'll need to sign in again to make a purchase. Same, same basic premise here, except when you close out of Cydia, you have to sign in again. All right, so I'm gonna make that payment now. Payment made. Super simple, I'll just reload, success. And now I can officially install Cloaky. So you can see folks that yes, Cydia purchases are super simple and they're super easy. It really isn't much to it. Uh, if you have Amazon kept always on file, which I highly recommend you do, don't use PayPal, that's ridiculous. PayPal is ridiculous anyway, so just don't use them. Um, use Amazon, keep your information on file for $50. It's not gonna charge that whole $50. It's only gonna have that threshold, the $50 threshold. So once you bypass that $50, you will have to authenticate again. But that's gonna take a while with Cydia purchases. I mean, most tweaks are like 99 cents. So you have a lot of tweaks you can purchase, and you can see I've purchased a lot of tweaks over my lifetime with Cydia. And I recommend you do too. Pay for your purchases, folks. These developers work hard and make your, your payment process very easy using this technique and you will have a much better time with Cydia and you won't hate it nearly as much. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.